Hello and welcome to the start of episode 2 of my Back to the Future playthrough. It took me a good while to get past episode 1. Uh, I had me plenty of embarrassing struggles along the way. I saw a little teaser trailer in the credits for episode 1 to build up episode 2 and I've been looking forward to this. Let's start a new game right away. Yeah, show goals please. Come on. There we go. Episode 2, Get Tannin. I don't really like the number plates of the viewer chair, they're just a bit strange, but anyway. Nice DeLorean. Good DeLorean. Ah! Ah! What's happening? I don't know. Unless... Uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant oh, Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... <laughs> when did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. Okay, so this is the beginning of the gameplay. The frames per second were excellent just then, the cutscenes, but now it's gone to hell. Uh, right, we only just have the notebook and stuff. This is bad. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Stuff. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist. If you don't mind. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. Is that so? Ah, fuck. Um, I need those what keys. What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Hmm, this was the period, um... There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Okay, this is a bit strange. Um, something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Yeah, so I was just going to say, like, since I am a motorsports fan, I've brought it up once or twice in, uh, you know, um... I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in anyway. this. 
You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. Yeah, so just like this, 1931 now is the I'm period. Now I'm sure something's back there. Um, this is the period where um, Auto Union, who are now known as Audi and Mercedes, were dominant in Grand Prix racing. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway calling car. calling the car German is kind of a compliment. Stop. Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. Pick up the keys. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was Pick not. Pick up the keys. Henchman, you say? Hmm. Huh. Um, so we still got this copper trying to bother us. Um, I suppose he hasn't shot by now, so uh, I didn't hear anything. We'll have to just keep sneaking. Hmm. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Okay, so... Doc has dropped the keys. We're out of sight of the officer. So let's get in the driver's side. Hmm. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Get in the driver's seat. There you go. Stop! Dad! No! Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. Woo! Time travel. What was that? Woohoo. Uh, I spoke too soon. I was trying to make the uh, reference to my episode one joke. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to 1931 again. Four fifty-five. Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I got to do is get to him before. Mr. Callahan. Rush. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Um... My grandpa's uh, on jury duty, and I have to get him his medicine. Oh, well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! <laughs> Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Stay, boy! Crap! Einstein! Oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it a squirrel, Liney? <laughs> um. You want to play? Okay, let's play. What are you up to, Liney? Go on, boy. 
Einstein. Oh, come on. Um. Right, well, could you imagine there being two of you? That would be amazing. Oh, come on, I need But you can never see each other. You can never make contact. Um. Pick up the stick. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, Is it a squirrel, Liney? I don't think I can throw the stick that far. Hmm. Pick a zebra. Go get it, boy. Where are you going, boy? Oh no! Don't tell me you have to throw it to bloody You're end. You're killing me, Liney. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. I haven't got time for this, Einie. Come on, boy, heal. We gotta save Doc. Yeah, we're fucked. Go get her, Einie. You! Oh! Get this mangy animal away from me! Come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Einstein, no! <laughs> Way to go, Einie. Now, to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tana's guys. Ah, uh, uh. Hey. Oh, God. Um, hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. <laughs> take over my work Kilowatt. to make sure. Are you alright? Yeah. The prequel yeah. to Jigawatt. I need to get to Arthur. Why? I have to brief him on what to say to the DEA. Are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Oh, hell. Oh, my God! What the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Um, this Zane, who would he be? Yeah, uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, he's gonna clearly see us, so we just have to go to the doors. Ah, oh, Jesus. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Artie, just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Oh, shite. Oh. Oh, it's cue ball. Over the head. Um... Artie? Uh -huh. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Hmm... Alright, uh, it's better off to just run. Ah, uh, this is awkward. Uh, run! Because Marty would never make it as an athlete, he's just so bloody slow. Oh, oh for God's sake. Just have to go all the way around, or through the park. Okay. Looks clear. Alright, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Oh, 
Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie. Take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Heyo, you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram! <sighs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh, Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. Uh-oh. I, I better get in there quick. Uh, well, unfortunately for Marty, I've pretty much gone... Uh, beyond my uh, preferred limits of time I'll have to save the game here and resume in the next part of the playthrough so thank you for watching I hope um, if you're you know tuning in and join the series you give a like and subscription perhaps that would be great I always forget to be, you know say that but um, I won't really do it that often again if I can rely on some good viewers uh, see you next time Bye.